Hey guys, my name is Jay Centrosi, aka Centrosi Film, and today I'm with my friend, Miss Olivia Chan. Hello. So, we're going to be shooting on the Mamiya RZ67, and what film stock are we shooting on, Olivia? We are shooting on Kodak Gold 200. That's right. As some of you may know, Kodak released the Gold 200 on 120 film, so we're going to test it out. Alright, let's have a look at this bad boy. I quite like with your right hand, I quite like you doing that. Like maybe if you can go there and stop, yeah. Three, two, one. This is a, more of a portrait, so like chest up. That's really lovely. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Yeah, this is really strong. Three, two, one. And that's the first roll in the bag. So this is actually my first time shooting on cold at gold 200. So I'm really hoping it's gonna be quite warm and gold. I really want some vibrant color, which is why I chose Richmond Park. There's some lovely greens, some lovely blues. So yeah, let's uh, see how it comes up. So we're actually going to the second location, but my model and my assistant have gone on a detour. I told them meet me by the lake and they decided to walk through the marshes. Hey buddy, I don't have any food for you I'm afraid. We can take some nice pictures though. All right. Three, two, one. That's really lovely. And then one more, yeah, hands a bit higher. Perfect. So I'm gonna introduce you guys to the man, the myth, the legend that is Jaapri. Son. Hi guys, how are you doing? <laughs> Pri Priyash is my trusted assistant. Um, very resourceful, reliable and useful young man. Helps me a lot on shoots. Used to work for Jessup's actually, didn't you? I did. So he's got a lot of camera equipment uh, and camera knowledge and yeah, everything you could think of that you would need in an assistant. Yeah, that's nice. That's really lovely. Okay, three, two, one. Cool, that's a really lovely portrait. I want to try a, more of a half body, probably from like your hips up. So I'm going to come, I'm just going to come back. If you stay there. Three, two, one. Really love this location. My only vice is that um, obviously we're in London, so we've got London weather. As I've never actually shot on the Kodak Gold 200. I'm quite curious to see how the, how it's gonna come out, how the colors and the lighting's gonna come out. So I'm just embracing it at the moment. I think it's quite important for photographers to um, 
acknowledge what it's like meeting creatives that they want to collaborate with and shoot with and work with. How long have we known each other, Olivia? Two or three years. Um, so I actually saw a portrait of Olivia on Instagram one day. I think it was shot on film. And straight away I was like, oh, I want to work with this model. And then I hit her up and then we've literally been shooting mainly on film for like the past two or three years. Um, Olivia's a model and an actress. I feel like people who do acting and modeling as well have a slight upper hand because you know, they know their angles a lot better than most models or actors do. Um, and they can also, you know, put on a role. They can put on more of a show for you. They can take direction really well. So that was one of the key reasons why I love working with Olivia so much. Plus, she's actually a lovely person. So that also helps. <laughs> cool. Three, two, one. So that's the second roll done. So I think it's time for an outfit change. We're gonna go for the red skirt and the red top. It's getting quite dark now. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put Olivia in a brighter outfit. Hopefully that brings out some more color and we'll see how we go. How crazy is that? Let's try one where it's like almost maybe a bit more rested on your head. Lovely shot. Three, two, one. See what my assistants do for me. Oh, hold on to me if you need to. Jeez, Tarzan, you good? You all right? Cheers, man. Yeah? Damn. I'm good, baby. We've got one more shot and uh, I really want to go for a really close up portrait. So we're going to do that now. I'm going to go even closer. <laughs> no, 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 you're good. You're good. <laughs> Stay exactly how you are. Three, two, one. And that is it. That is a wrap. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Olivia Chan. How did you like today? Yeah, today was really fun. Yeah? I feel like we got loads of different styles of shots, nice. which is nice considering yeah. like where we are, because it all could look the same. That's very but true. I feel like, especially the last one, very whimsical. Nice, nice. But yeah, I feel like we've got a good variety. What was your favorite outfit? Probably, I don't know, because I do love this two piece. Like this is, this is a personal favorite of mine anyway. She looks like that red, Dress salsa emoji, right? Yes. <laughs> but I do have to say, anytime I'm in like a jacket and jeans, that's... Yeah, it's you. It's you're comfy. Comfort. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're chilling, vibing. Yeah, exactly, cool. exactly. Amazing. So we're going to develop the film. We're going to see how the shots come out. And then we will show you later. 
Having the Grams 28 154 City Pack was super handy for carrying my film stock. It is also great for carrying your phone, wallet and cards. I also had my iPad inside in case I needed to refer to any references or inspiration. Olivia was wearing the smaller 153 Sling Mini, which is super handy to have for smaller items. I believe she had a small point and shoot camera in hers. Both bags have small compartments to hold cards or a wallet or a phone but it is the 154 City Pack that is especially great for carrying a tablet or iPad and an Apple Pencil. So we got the film developed and scanned. I'm really happy with the results. Usually I shoot on Portra 400 and the reason why I shoot on 400 is because I love the golden tones and textures and it picks up skin tones really well. I wasn't really sure what to expect when it came to shooting the Kodak 200. On the day, it was quite overcast. There were lots of grey clouds. I was hoping for sunny spells. We didn't get that, but we move on. So I brought a reflector with me with a gold side to reflect on Olivia's face, just to bring up some texture and some warmth. A lot of the images actually came out quite bright, and that's because of how bright the sky actually was, even though it was overcast. It's not my go-to. I do prefer more contrasting images. Um, and I definitely prefer a lot more warmth. So yeah, I use a prism on my Mamiya RZ67. I use this to correct the image and also because it has an inbuilt light meter. Uh, as you know, shooting on film, you have to take a lot more time. You have to be a lot more patient to capture your shots and to meter correctly. So I just prefer walking around with the Mamiya with a light meter on top. All of the shots that I captured of Olivia on the day are shot on a 110 lens. Now this is the prime portrait lens that most Mamiya users use. As you can see, there's lots of beautiful bokeh in most of the headshots, um, but it still does a great job of capturing texture and details for wider shots. I think next time I'd really love to shoot a side-by-side -side comparison of film stock. So that could be a 200 ISO film stock against a 400 ISO film stock, for example. It was really useful for me to have the Grams 28 154 City Pack with me. On a day like this, when I'm carrying a big camera, it's really convenient having a sling or a bag where I can store my film stock or my phone and my wallet and not have to worry about where it's gonna be. So there you have it. Let me know what you guys think. If there's anything that you would like to see me do in future, comment below. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Peace. Okay, hold that for me. All right. Three, two, one.